wanna get away from this life I'm living Same old things every day Wanna change this feeling Wasting no more time Don't care about what you're saying what is up and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Katie I live in Orlando and I make all home decor videos shop with me videos hauls shop and decorate with me videos like you are getting today so if you pretty much love anything to do with like Target or home goods TJ Maxx home decor you're definitely gonna love this channel so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss my upcoming 15,000 subscriber giveaway you're not gonna want to miss it I'm really excited about it. Another thing I am so excited for is this video. This video is so anticipated. I did this for my living room a couple weeks ago and you guys loved it, so I will definitely link that down below for you to watch after you watch this video. But you love that one so much that I knew I wanted to do it for other parts of our new apartment. Today's video, as you can see from the title, is an entryway shop and decorate with me. This is going to be front door to this wall that you see right behind me and I am so excited. I'm gonna show you all the different areas before we head to the stores. Last time I shopped and then I showed you everything, but now I wanna kinda of give you an idea of where my head is at, what I'm thinking I'm gonna get, and then kinda of work through the whole process with you guys so you can kinda of see how I shop, how my brain works, and kinda of my whole process because I feel like everyone is a little bit different and I always think it is so interesting to see how other people do things. So I wanted to do this video a little bit different than I did my last one. So definitely let me know down below which way you prefer. Do you want me to shop first and then just show you how I decorate? Or do you kind of want to see my mindset behind it, what I actually pick, all the way through to the final product? Definitely let me know your thoughts on that down below. We have been in our new apartment for a little under two months now, which is crazy. It has taken me a long time to source all of the things that I want to get and kind of figure out exactly what I want to do. I've had to get a little bit creative with storage solutions just because I couldn't find specific furniture pieces, but I'm really excited to show you everything that I already have picked out, and I'm excited to go shopping for everything else that we will get to decorate the entryway. So with all that being said, I I'm so excited. I definitely want to get into showing you all the different areas that we're going to be focusing on today. So let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, so this is our front door area. Don't mind the echoing. I'm in a hallway. There's definitely nothing wrong with it, but other people have like fake plants and they're really decorated and they look cute. I also don't love this wreath. It's from Studio McGee and I feel like because of the color of the door, it really just blends in. So this is kind of going to be our starting point. I want to get an accent rug, a fake plant. We have a pretty good amount of space in front of our door and we're allowed to decorate it. I have big plans for Halloween and Christmas, so definitely stay tuned for that. But like I said, nothing wrong with it. I just think that there's a lot of room for improvement. So this is our starting point. Okay, next I want to show you the area I am most excited about. So it is this wall right here. In my head, I really wanted an accent cabinet that had like doors or shelves of some sort that I could hide because we were wanting to put our wine in there. We don't have a ton of pantry space, definitely a lot compared to most apartments, but not a ton. So I wanted to have a place where we could put our wine. That way where we currently have our wine, we could store our bubbly because if you know anything about us, or especially me, it is that I am obsessed with bubbly sparkling water, but I wasn't able to find an accent chest that I loved. I searched and searched and searched at weeks. I went to Home Goods all over Central Florida, literally all in one direction, all in the other direction, north, south, east, west. I went to every single Home Goods several times over the last few months and couldn't find anything, so I decided to pivot. Pivot! and find a different storage solution. So I ended up going with, oh my gosh, I'm so excited and I feel like you guys are gonna love this so much. This is a total Serena and Lily dupe for a killer, killer, killer price from Kirkland's. I found this beautiful console table. I'm gonna put a picture of it right here. It is rattan, it looks just like Serena and Lily, and I got it with a 30% off coupon, so I got it from $179 down to like $125, which was crazy, but I think it's gonna look so good in here. So what I'm planning on doing for wine is potentially getting like a pretty modern like black wine rack of some sort so we can store some bottles. We do have a lot of wine. Brian and I are big wine drinkers. His family loves wine. Our friends love wine, so we like to bring wine when we go to people's houses and people always bring wine when they come over here. So we just have a lot of wine on hand, but I'm thinking I can put a few bottles on here, like on the bottom shelf potentially of the new console table, and then keeping the rest where we currently store it, but we do have a wine holder under there right now that just takes up way too much space, and unfortunately won't go on the new console table. So I'll be looking for a black 
wine rack, like a pretty modern black wine rack. So I'm definitely gonna look at World Market and Home Goods will be a great place to look for that as well. And then I'm just gonna style it with like fake plants. I'm not exactly sure yet. That's why I'm excited to get out and get shopping. And then above it, I'm thinking either a 30 inch round mirror with a black frame or an arched mirror that is kind of tall and wide. The problem is that light switch. That light switch is in a really awkward spot. We have very tall ceilings because we are on the top floor of our apartment. So it makes it kind of difficult because I don't want to shorten the wall by doing a round mirror where there's still a lot of space above it. And I don't really like the mirrors that have like the beads. I don't know, I just don't think I would like the look of that. So I'm thinking maybe like a black arched mirror would be really cool. So we're gonna peek around today and see what we can find. But I definitely think I want to do black because I have little black accents everywhere and I'm trying to keep things not so like coastal bohemian but more modern bohemian so that's kind of how I'm interworking that in but that is what I'm thinking for this area and I am just so excited to see it all come together okay so we just talked about this wall right here next we're gonna move on to the wall that is right next to it on this wall we do have our thermostat as well as a light switch so this wall is a little bit difficult as well. I did see online on Kirkland's, I have already shopped around a little bit just to kind of get an idea of what's out there and decide where I wanted to go and shop. I found these cool like metal hammered little plant basket type things. And I was thinking maybe we could pop over to Ikea and put fake plants in them, but I definitely need to see them in person first to see like how big they really are. But I was thinking four of those right here. I do think that they're really nice and modern looking and I'd like to bring in like the fresh greenery with some fake plants. So that's what I was kind of thinking for here, either like those with succulents inside or some type of like drapey plant, something like that. I just want to do like browns and blacks, like coastal modern bohemian with green. I don't know. That's kind of where my head is at and that's what I was thinking for this wall right here. I kind of want to show you my inspiration. This is kind of like my mood board. These have been done. These were the first things I did when we moved in. I collected all of this stuff over the last several months and was so excited to put this together. There is one more thing I want to get for right here. It's that paper mache palm leaf that I showed from at home. So I'm definitely going to be purchasing that and putting that back there sometime over the next week or so. Not sure if it will be in this video, but this is kind of my my mood board so you can see there's a lot of like black white neutral colors a lot of green plants drapery we have like the rattan mixed in so we're keeping it really like natural with all of the different textures the limestone not from studio McGee from last year this studio McGee vase with just tons of different greenery that I have collected this vase right here is from home goods this little plant on the stand is also from Home Goods, And then I have both of the Magnolia table books right here, volume one and volume two, just to kind of round out the space. If you're wondering, these are from Ikea, and then this is from TJ Maxx. And this is just kind of, you know, my inspiration for the rest of the entryway. Down here, I also do have this basket, which is from Ikea, as well as one stem of pompous grass. So I'm definitely gonna be looking into getting more of this today, but I also wanna check out the pompous grass at Kirkland's because everyone says the faux pompous grass from Kirkland's is amazing. So I'm definitely going to be checking that out as well because I want this to be a lot more full. So coming in off of the front door, we also have this wall. The issue with this hallway is that it's kind of narrow. So originally I was thinking of doing a basket wall on this giant wall, but a lot of the baskets I have stick off several inches and I didn't wanna make the hallway feel any more narrow. Not than it already is, cause I don't think it's very narrow, but I don't wanna make it feel narrow. So I'm thinking maybe a big canvas art or something else will be better here and I'm gonna save my basket wall for another place in the house. And then over here, I'm thinking kind of similar. I might do a like giant macrame little decoration. There's a really nice one at World Market that I'm thinking about getting, but that's kind of what I'm thinking about here. I do want this to be very decorated, but I don't want to make this space feel narrow. So that is the challenge with this wall. Okay, so now that I have shown you the different areas, let's go ahead and head to the stores. I'm thinking we're gonna go definitely to Home Goods, potentially Target. World Market as well as Kirkland's. Brian is picking something up at a different Kirkland's that's super far away, so applaud to Brian for being the hero of this video. He is the absolute best. It just so happened that he was going out to a pretty like far part away in Florida and the console table that I got was only in stock at that store, so Brian is just the best. Round of applause to him. But now that we have looked at all the different areas, let's go ahead, head to the stores and see what we can find because I'm so excited to buy everything, come back, style it, and see the finished product. So, all right, let's go. 
Just pulled up to Kirkland's. I'm gonna go here first because I'm like the least familiar with what they have. So I feel like it's just, you know, better to get this one out of the way first. Plus I wanna check for those like hammered wall metal things I was telling you about. But yeah, I wanna check here first because I'm not familiar with what they have at all. So I'm excited to check out like their wall art and things like that. But yeah, let's head into Kirkland's and see what they have. There they are. There's those things I was talking about. Okay, let me try to get some down. These are really, really cool. I like these a lot and they're a good size. I think I'm gonna pick up the three that they have because they're a little bit bigger than I thought. So three might be fine. So here is their pompous grass and it is really nice. I also found this like very tropical green sprig which I think could also look really nice mixed in with the pompous grass. So I think I'm gonna grab two of these and one of these as well. This is escalating quickly. I do like the idea of maybe putting something like this like above the laundry room, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't want it to be like farmhousey at all. And this gives me major farmhouse vibes. Just looking over all their like canvas art options, I know that big wall is gonna be the most challenging for sure. It is 50% off all Artful Accents canvas art, so that's really cool. So I'm definitely gonna peek through all of this, but like that's not gonna work for us. I like this a lot if it was like way bigger, but I really like the idea of a little shelf like right at the bottom of the mirror. This shape is also really, really cool too. They have a bunch of them right here and they do have it in black as well. So that could be a really cool option because it's super tall and I really want to elongate that wall. This is kind of the shape I was thinking. This is absolutely massive, so not this one specifically, but like more of a shape like this instead of a circle. Okay, I decided actually not to get this yet. I want to see if they have the longer one over at World Market that I already have because this one is kind of short for the like little basket vase that I need it for that you guys saw. So I'm gonna check there first, but if not, they have a ton here, so I'll just come back and grab this and I'll make it work. Got the goods, just gonna quickly put them in my car and then World Market is right there. I'm actually bringing this into World Market with me because I'm trying to figure out what I wanna put in them. So it, this is the best way to figure it out. Oopsies, it is actually out of stock at my store. So I'm gonna get the one at Kirkland's. No harm, no foul. I really wanted to check here for wall art. They have really cool wall art here. I always see lots of stuff that is just super unique and definitely like the style we're going for. Still love these baskets. I really wanna get all of these. But yeah, they just have some really cool stuff. So just wanted to come and check it out and see what we could find. This is one of the items I am very interested in. I think it would look really good um, like next to the front door in that space. And it doesn't stick off the wall too much. And I just love these wall hangings. And I think that this gold detail is really pretty and just adds something different, which I really like because other macrame hangers are just like a wooden dowel with a rope. So this is a little bit more modern and I love that. I was thinking something similar to this, like with a little bit of drapery, um, but not quite so colorful, like no pink, but we're on to something here. They have these mix and match lamps and they have this like gold pineapple base and it looks nice with this like white linen one. But I'm not sure if it's like too much gold for on our new console table. I definitely do want to incorporate a pineapple somewhere on the console table, but I don't know if I want like a big chunky gold lamp to be that pineapple accent. I don't know. I think for greenery, we might have the most luck at Joanne Fabric. And they have really cute decor too. Like nobody ever shops there, but they have the cutest stuff. But I might pick up three of these little succulent stems just in case. I have so much green and stems and random stuff <laughs> all over my house. Don't go in my guest bedroom closet. Don't do it. All right, got the goods. Let's head to Home Goods. Alrighty, just got to Home Goods, hoping to find like mirror, other, Little things like that, things are going well so far. I'm just worried about that big wall. I really need to find an awesome piece of artwork. So let's cross our fingers that we score here in Home Goods some awesome piece of like giant artwork. Okay, finding some cool new books potentially for on the console table. These are awesome, so I'm gonna pick these up. But now I wanna look for an accent rug for underneath the welcome mat. Another thing I really need is a black wine rack. They have a couple options. They have this one, which I like. They also have that one, which I kind of like. I don't really love the shape. I do prefer this one, but I think it might be a little bit too big. 
And then they have that one with the chicken wire, but that's a little bit too rustic. All right, got a bunch of potential goodies for the console table to style it. And then whatever I don't use, I will return. Okay, I brought this over now to Joanne Fabrics and all of their spring line is on clearance or 50% off and it's so cute. It matches perfectly with what I'm trying to do. So I'm kind of like sifting through this, but I got a bunch of stuff at Home Goods to style the console table with styling. I feel like you have to buy a lot of stuff and just kind of return what doesn't work. That way you have a lot of options to like mix and match when you go to style. Plus, I feel like people don't realize how much different stuff and layers you need to like make something look perfectly styled. So now I'm just in Joann's and I need to try to find like plants to go in here, but I got distracted by all this cute stuff that's on sale classic i really like this right here it has like a gold stand i really like the bowl i like the idea of like a place to put keys and stuff and i think that would work well even if i took it off the stand i just like the hammered black bowl it would look really nice because these would be on the walls next to it so that's a possibility okay so i'm finding a lot of great succulents and then i found these foam like half circles which are perfect because i can cut these in half stuff them in here and then stick these out of it to help these stay so i think that's gonna be the game plan so I'm currently sitting on the floor in joann's trying to make sure i have enough for all three and i'm gonna go with succulents it's all part of the process okay done in joann's i know i didn't show much that's the store i've spent the most money in so far i think which is crazy fake florals are pricey but they never die i bought a ton and they said whatever i don't use i can return as long as i just like leave the little tags on so i'm definitely gonna do that but yeah i just wanted to make sure i had enough because the little planters are big and i don't want them to like look understuffed or anything so i wanted to make sure i got plenty but we're gonna head to another home goods i still need stuff for my front door still looking for a big piece of artwork um and a wine rack I think that is what is left on my list and the console table has been acquired Brian picked it up in literally East Bum so I'm so appreciative of him so that's the plan we're gonna head to another home goods and hopefully check off the rest of the items on the shopping list made it to home goods number two checking out the mirrors they have some cool options but I feel like in the last few days like everyone came and bought mirrors and there's like no mirrors so hopefully I can find something oh my gosh you guys look at this it's like gargantuan floor mirror. This is super, super pretty. It is $200, but that's not what we're looking for today. They do have this 30 inch circle mirror. It's $100, which is pretty expensive compared to other places. So I might see if Hobby Lobby has their mirrors 50% off this week, cause that would be a good place to check. Kind of striking out at this home goods, so I'm not gonna waste any more time here. We're gonna check out Hobby Lobby to see if the mirrors are 50% off, and then we're gonna go to another home goods. I'm dedicated. Okay, I got lucky, cause this week at Hobby Lobby, it is home decor featuring wall decor, so mirrors are included, and they do have a round black one. But I just, I don't know if I wanna do round. I don't know. And I don't know what the next home goods will have, so what do I do? Here is a spring shot mirror that's kind of cool as well, and it does have like whitewash wood and then black, which I like, but I want something really modern, so I think my best bet will be just like a round black mirror. This is the one I was thinking. It is 31 inches in diameter, so right in between 30 and 32, and I think it would work really well. It is 130 here, but like I said, it is 50% off. So cheaper than Home Goods for sure because the Home Goods one was 100. I was kind of hoping to find something like this that was like wider. I feel like they're either like really wide and short or really tall and skinny. I need one that's tall and wide at the same time. But this might just have to do it. Okay, hang on. I was just like in line to pay for it. And then I realized this like seam. Do you guys see that? And then it's like fused together in some spots. I really don't like the way that looks like two mirrors glued together. Okay, I'm second thinking this now. Maybe I don't get this one. I really don't like the way it looks from the side and you'll be able to see it from the side. So I think I'm actually gonna probably put this back. There are three of them here and they all look like that. So just something to be aware of if you're gonna purchase this mirror. Ran into Marshall's cause it was right here. And I found a nice mirror actually. Okay, I found this 28 inch mirror, which I really wanted 30, but 28 is honestly a great size. And this is only $30.
like it's honestly a steal how come if I want two more inches I have to pay another hundred dollars so I don't know I think I actually might get this I also am finding a lot of plants that I like a lot so I like this one this one's really cute then they have all these ones which I really really like I'm liking this one in the white pot I like the leaves on it and then I also like this one in this white pot this one is 80 and then the other ones I showed are 60 came okay, in my third home visit of the day I think and they have a lot of options for wine racks and they had a lot of mirrors but I'm still happy with my choice that I got and it, also I found the same mirror here and it was $50 and I got it for 30 at Marshall's so keep that in mind but I think we're gonna have some luck here finding the rest of the stuff we need okay so for wine racks I really like this one I like how it's just simple and modern and it's only 10 bucks but I just like how simple this one is. And then this one is a little bit more fancy. Kind of looks like Cinderella's carriage. I'm not really feeling this one. I really like this one. This is honestly kind of what I wanted. But it's not black. It's silver. I could easily spray paint it. But I'm not really sure I'm up for a project. Okay, they also have these. Which are gold. But you can like stack them. Which is really, really cool too. I'm gonna keep looking, but I think I'm gonna go with this one because I think it will look the best with the round mirror. This is another option that is pretty cool, but I think I'm gonna stick with this one. Oh my god. Full wagon. Let's go. Okay, I'm finally home. Oh my gosh, I got so much stuff, you guys. Look at this cart. This cart is full. Let's get to decorating. Let's do this. I do want to mention there's a couple things I didn't get. So I wasn't able to find anything to put on the big wall, unfortunately. But I don't want to buy something like just to have it there. I really want to wait until I find something that's absolutely perfect. So definitely make sure you are subscribed. Or no, not subscribed. Following me on Instagram because I'll post more like up-to-date stuff like on there. So that's at Katie Vinings. Go follow me there if you want like more in the moment house updates. And I also didn't find a wreath for the front door. Super weird, but no stores had like any wreaths so I don't know I found a lot a couple weeks ago and I guess a lot of people like wanted to change out their wreaths for like summer or whatever so they went and bought them all up so I didn't find a wreath or a big piece of artwork for the big wall but everything else I we got it covered
Okay, so still kind of working on this. I did get the mirror hung up. I think it's good that it's like hung up higher because I'm gonna have like taller stuff here. I do think I'm gonna go ahead and get a lamp for right here. I think that would be cute. And I'm not married to this. I may use this somewhere else or return it. I do think it's really cute, but I don't think it's cute on here per se. Maybe if it had black in it, it would be a little bit better. Um, but I wanna get a lamp maybe that has like a black base to tie in a little bit more black right here. And then once I get the little planters hung up right here, I think it's gonna look so, so good. The more I look at this, the more I definitely think I need a bigger mirror for sure. I think I need like a 32 inch mirror because this is 28. So to add on the extra space, I think I definitely need a 32 inch mirror. It's been a few days, which you wouldn't know probably from watching the video, but I'm going to be very transparent because I just feel like that's the best way to live your life is being transparent. So, I had to step away from this project for like four or five days. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I kind of like documented this a little bit more and was like pretty open about it on Instagram. But in like a two day span, I went to like almost 50 stores, I think, just looking for inspiration, looking for stuff to fill the walls. I was really like forcing this situation. I don't know why I thought I could or that it was a good idea to decorate my entire entryway in one day, like wake up one day and just was like, this is what the video I'm gonna film today. It's just not realistic. And I don't really know like why I tried to do that. So to be like super honest with you, it literally sent me into a complete like mental breakdown after like the second day of going to like a bunch of stores and just like not being successful and not feeling motivated. And like I said, trying to force it. It's not something I want to do, obviously, because like this is our home. Like it's not just like a project for my YouTube channel. Like we actually live here. And so I wanted everything to be like something that we love and are happy with. And I just couldn't accomplish that in one day. And I really don't know like why I thought I could. So I took a few days away. I was kind of on like home decor overload. <laughs> like. I sat with Brian and just cried about how I didn't want to go to the stores anymore. I didn't want to go to Home Goods. I didn't want to go to look at home decor. And he was like, but you love home decor. Well, I didn't love it the other day. I just was totally like burnt out from looking at different stores for home decor to decorate my entryway. So I took a couple days off. 
I'm feeling much more refreshed, inspired. I brainstormed a lot over the last few days and we are pivoting again. Pivot! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! And I feel really good about it. So a couple of the items have been moved. So the macrame design with like the gold metal top, we actually decided to move into the living room and it looks amazing in the living room. So we are gonna do something else on that wall. The big wall, I came up with a great idea that I'm super excited about and we're actually gonna go together to pick it up. I decided to order prints off of Etsy, but like instant download prints and I'm doing same day printing at Walgreens. I was able to use Karma, this video is not sponsored, but I did recently work with them and I really do love them. And I did the online like ordering. I got 60% off, so it's supposed to be $71 and the prints are 30. And then I ordered another one for a different photo frame and that one was supposed to be 17 and I'm getting it for seven. So that is super exciting. I'm really excited to pick those up, but we do need to go out and get picture frames. So I ordered the big prints in 20 by 30. So we're gonna go out and get 20 by 30 photo frames. I'm gonna check Joann's and Target. I know that they have them there, but I need to see them in person. It's been really hard to find photo frames. I've looked online a lot, but they just look like really cheap. So I wanna go and see them in person. But I just kind of decided to stop rushing it, stop forcing it, and just let it happen naturally. And I feel way more refreshed and like less stressed about it because I literally was so beside myself stressed. So just kind of wanted to be like transparent with you because you know, things are just sometimes not what they seem on YouTube. I did also get those black pots hung up and I put a poll on Instagram if we should hang them one way or another. So if you wanna be involved in like live voting and helping me with like house decor stuff, cause sometimes if Brian and I are debating, I'll put it up on Instagram so we can get more people's opinions. Cause sometimes that just helps me. He hates it, but it helps me. So if you guys wanna be involved in those kinds of polls, you can definitely follow me on my Instagram. I'll put it down here. It is just at Katie Vining. And I am also doing a giveaway on my Instagram next week, a Target giveaway in partnership with another brand that I really love. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to be following me on Instagram so that you don't miss out on that giveaway. But yeah, we're gonna go head out now and get the rest of the stuff that we need and kinda of start to wrap this up. Another thing is I did decide that that mirror was too small. So I ordered another one from Target and it's going to come today. Originally I had gotten a 28 inch mirror but I decided to switch it out for a 34 inch mirror which is a lot bigger. So I'm really hoping that it like isn't too big and it just like looks good because that was kind of like the main item that was really stressing me out was going to the stores and looking for a mirror. I just like, 34 is a weird size I think and like 36 seemed too big and 32 still seemed too small. So luckily I was able to order a 34 inch one from Target and it is supposed to come today. So I'm really excited to see this all come together and I'm glad that I was able to just like walk away for a few days to like give myself a minute. But yeah, pat me. You guys always love it when you can see the dogs. But yeah, and then I'm in my room and this room is not done at all. So this will definitely be the next project, probably next month. These projects cost a lot of money as well. So that's kind of why I space them out. Like furnishing and decorating a house is no joke. It's so expensive. So I didn't want to force it. And I just wanted to be like transparent because I'm sure that this happens to you guys too, where you like don't feel inspired and you just like feel lost and you don't know what to do. So I just wanted to let you know that it's not just you guys, you're not alone. So let's head out to the stores. I'm actually excited to go to the stores, which was not the case last week. And let's try to, now I don't wanna say wrap up this project, but let's continue on with this project. I don't wanna put that pressure on myself, but yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, so in Home Goods they do have these like two piece sets that are $50 and this is the right size and they do have two of them but I would have an extra frame left over which isn't the end of the world but they are more expensive because it would be $100 for the four frames but I do have a gift card so these are all different factors but I do like these they're pretty sleek and matte which a lot of the other ones I have found are more shiny so I'm going to check a couple more stores but then I might come back and buy these okay at Joanne now and they do have it i believe it's this one but it just like looks and feels so cheap 
which is what I am trying to avoid. It's hard because it's just like a black picture frame. Like it's, I feel like it's really not that serious, but I don't know, this just looks so cheap to me. Okay, so I ran into Burlington and Ross as well and they didn't have anything. So I'm just gonna get the ones from Home Goods because they're the nicest ones I found. And I will have an extra, but I already know like where I could use that in my next project. So I'm just gonna get these ones. Okay, back here, looking at them. And I think that they're too thick. We didn't want anything that stuck off the wall too much because it's gonna like make the hallway feel more narrow. And these are like two and a half inches thick. I only wanted like one, so. Now I don't know <laughs> what to do. We wanted one like this. And this one is like that. So it's definitely a big difference. Like I wish it was like skinnier or like had less depth. Oh my God. Okay. My prints are ready at Walgreens. I still don't have frames. It's only been like five minutes since I last saw you, but I don't have frames yet, but I'm gonna pick up the prints and we're just, we're gonna figure it out. I'm trying to not immediately go back to the place I was in last week, um, but this project has just been like extra frustrating. And I don't know, I guess everything I want is like a weird size. Like I wanted an odd sized mirror, which by the way, I'm not actually sure if it's gonna come today because it says like as of Friday, it's still in Illinois and I haven't gotten any updates on it, like through Target app or FedEx or anything. So not exactly sure what's going on with that. It could all of a sudden update and be like out for delivery today, but it does say it's supposed to like come today by seven. So I have no idea, but I'm gonna go pick up my prints. I'm really excited to see them and I hope that they look good. Got them. JK, I'm back at the first home goods and I think we're gonna try these. Got the goods. Okay, I have my prints now and I am home. I'm really excited to get everything hung and just like see how it looks. So first I have, I got three big prints. I actually ordered them off of Etsy. If you go on Etsy, you can look up like digital download instant prints. They have so, hang on. They have so many different options. One of these should be smaller, okay yes. So they have lots of different options for like art prints and stuff. But I have this smaller print that I got from the Target dollar spot or the smaller frame I should say. Originally it had this print in it that says welcome home, but it's just not really the vibe. So I ordered this one off of Etsy. It was a digital download, an instant download. It cost like $4 and then I spent $7 to print it. Same day at Walgreens. So I'm really excited to get this changed out. This is like a lot more like modern, way more the style that we're going for. So I'm really excited to see it in the frame. Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me. Okay, so that was super simple, really easy, like Target DIY there. The next is I'm actually gonna have to like hang them and measure and level, and I'm gonna try to do it without Brian being home, and we all know how that always goes, but I'm still gonna try it. I feel like now that I hung those you know, I'm more experienced. But these are the prints that I picked. I'll link them down below for you guys if you are interested. So there's this one. They're like a little bit abstract-ish. Then there is this one. They're just like beige and then this like line work one. So this one goes in the middle and then the other two go on the side. And I think it's gonna look really good. What I like about them is like Brian and I don't have any like professional photos together yet. But I think like when we get married or when we get engaged, these will be great frames for us to be able to change out the pictures or if I ever want to get new prints from Etsy or if I decide that like, you know, I'm tired of these. It's super easy for me to just roll these back up and I can always save them and then I could order new prints off Etsy. We were also thinking about doing maps, so like a map of Phoenix, Boston, and Orlando. Brian is from Arizona, so I think he would want Phoenix. I'm not sure. And then Boston for me and then obviously we live in Orlando. 
But for now, I got these and I'm really excited to get them in the frames. So let's work on that. This is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. Like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. Started. It's time to get my head up again. You said that you had to be right back. Okay, my hair went up, my frustration level went up. So basically, the frame is like kind of flaking off, and the prints are not forgiving at all because they're white. So it looks like there's like little pieces of like scratch card. You know, when you like scratch a scratch card and like that little like flaky stuff comes off. That's what it looks like. So I, I'm not kidding, I wiped these like a hundred times. I only did one so far. And it was just extremely frustrating. But it's all good. It's okay. I do think that they're going to look really good. I obviously am like sitting here over analyzing them. But it's just so frustrating. This is like one reason why I wish I got plastic frames, but it's like something I didn't even think would happen. But if I had plastic frames, I definitely don't think this would be happening. I think it's because they're wood. Little pieces are like breaking off and the like pictures are so white in the background that you can just see everything. But uh, not one single part of this whole thing has been easy and that's okay. It'll be worth it. Like I said, I only have one done. And it's not even the one that's going to go in the middle, but I'm going to like start hanging it just to kind of get an idea to see if like it's too thick or if I think they're the right size um, because the wall's 100 inches. So I'm going to just put 50 and I'm not even going to put it up the way you're supposed to with the little hooks. I'm going to use these and then place it on top because it's like a thick edge on the inside. So I don't have to do the hooks on the side, which would take so much longer. I'm just going to like put these and then lay it on top. So let's hang up the first one and just make sure like we kind of like the vibe. Was that out of focus the whole time? I really hope that wasn't out of focus the whole time. Okay, so I need to just move one of the screws over uh, so that it's like, will balance more in the exact middle. So then that way when I hang the other ones, they're like equidistant, if that makes sense. So hopefully this won't be out of focus. Okay, so it's level. Perfect now. Now I have to put the other two um, pictures into the frames and get them hung. And I really hope it looks good. In me 
days later again and we got a delivery the last thing that I've been waiting on to finish up this project this wall is going to remain empty for now I wanted to leave it open in case you guys had any ideas of what we could put there nothing like too bulky that comes off the wall but I just thought there was already like a lot going on so if you have any ideas of something cute that we could put there I wish we could do the little like hooks for like the dog leashes and stuff but our dog leashes are just really not that cute and I think it would stick off too much so if you have any ideas definitely let me know but we did get a delivery looking at me our mirror came I will link everything down below but we got the 32 inch threshold mirror in black I'm really excited to get it hung up and finally be able to put this project mostly behind me it's just been a stressful one as you could see throughout this entire video so if you've made it this far in the video leave me a sun emoji in the comments if you've made it this far i applaud you because this is probably the longest video i've ever done but let's get this baby hung up oh bye i had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks and i feel misplaced without you why don't we just a better idea of what it's actually like I feel like you can come on YouTube and people like perfectly decorate their spaces and it goes seamlessly and that's just not the reality for like a normal person or a youtuber even though they like to pretend like things go perfectly I really wanted to show you a super in-depth like the whole process what my ideas were versus what actually ended up happening and what the final result was and I really hope that you guys loved it I love the way that it came out I'm you know and it's not perfectly done there are still some like final touches and other things that I'm waiting to come like in the mail little decor things but I think it came out really really good and I'm so glad that this area of our new apartment is finally decorated my camera died that's just so classic but anyways that is gonna be it for this video definitely let me know what is your favorite thing that I did below or if you took any inspiration and let me know if you have any ideas for that blank wall like I said but that is gonna be it for me if you haven't yet and you liked this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below we have more transformations coming and a 15,000 subscriber giveaway and I would love it if you join my little internet family but that is gonna be it for me I will see you next time bye guys